Right, g'day Ronnie. Uh, Ronnie's a mate of mine from work and I'm just going to ask him a few things about uh, his thoughts on the way everything's happened. As he's an avid Storm supporter and father of another avid Storm supporter. So, Ronnie, what are your thoughts on everything that's happened with our club, with the penalties imposed, stripping of two premierships, uh, two minor premierships uh, and everything else that happened? Well, to start with, uh, perhaps we should have lost the two earlier ones, but not the rest and especially not the points for this year as no other club in the competition has ever had this happen to them and to my opinion that mongrel Yallop, Gallop, whatever his name is, should be galloped on. <laughs> You're referring to the uh, to the two minor, uh, the two minor premierships. Uh, obviously, 2007, 2009, we won the, uh, the the actual premierships themselves, the titles. Them being stripped along with not being able to play for points this year. How do you think that in, has impacted not only the players but also the supporters? Like we're supporters, so how's it how's it affected you? Well, it's made me stronger, and uh, to. Uh, as well as the rest of the supporters, it's united the rest of the supporters greatly and for the players, I've never seen a club so united and so strong in this that it surprises me. And as far as having the two points taken, having the points taken off for this year, it's damp, well to me it's dampened the competition and it had, there's no fire left in the competition because no one is really interested in who wins or who loses this year as from here, as when we lost the, the points. Same. The rest of the teams in the competition have felt the same as Storm and they've sort of lost the fire and enthusiasm to a degree for what is going to be a non-premiership year. Very good, very good point. All right, uh, slightly, slightly different now. What, what are your thoughts on News Limited's role in, obviously, owning the Melbourne Storm, owning half the National Rugby League, and the supposed independent investigation which they basically, they basically teed up with Deloitte's? What are your thoughts on that, and what are your thoughts on the fact that there are 33 pages missing from public view from that audit that they commissioned? Well, to start with... A company like News Limited should not, if they want to be involved, it should be with one, one only, not, not as a double, not owning the club and half owning the competition, because it puts a bias on the whole situation, and with them sort of uh, organising Deloitte. To run the investigation, to me, it's fishy and it's run to suit News Limited themselves what, and to get the results that they want, not what should be wanted. And... Uh, <laughs> no, that's good, mate. That's good. Now, just quickly, uh, just finishing up, you'll be a still, you'll, you're going to remain a supporter next year and um, are you looking forward to the day that News Limited do eventually leave our club and the club is owned by someone and run by someone who shares the passion that we have as members and as supporters. Yes. I will only be too happy to see News Limited go. That way they won't be able to dictate to what they want and how they want it. And as a supporter, I am very passionate. As a passionate supporter won't get me any so passionate as what I am and I will be supporting them for the eternity. Beautiful mate, beautiful. And just quickly on finishing up, who's your favourite player? Number one. <laughs> Billy. Billy Slater. Favourite, favourite, favourite memory? Oh, jeez, I can't think. <laughs> Sorry about that. No, that's all right. There's so many, been, been a few good ones. That's right. And and finally, this is this is this is probably the hardest one. How long have you been a supporter? And how did your son get into it? Did he follow your lead? 
He's always been a supporter. My son's always been a supporter. Well, for the since the club began, began. Yep, we've always been supporters from the day one, and it was only through his mate that he became a member, giving him a present. Fantastic. All right, Ronnie. Thanks heaps for your time. And um, we'll thank everyone from MadFan for watching and uh, go the storm for not only for this year but for the future without News Limited. Beauty. I agree.